Atrial fibrillation progresses over time from a paroxysmal to a persistent form because of electrical and structural remodeling of the heart. Previous results from the multicenter randomized early AF clinical trial showed that cryoablation, as compared with antiarrhythmic drug therapy, was associated with lower rates of recurrent atrial tachyarrhythmia during one year of follow-up. But whether cryoablation reduces the risk of persistent atrial fibrillation is unknown. In the early AF trial, 303 patients received an implantable continuous cardiac rhythm monitor to detect atrial fibrillation events after initial study randomization to cryoablation or to antiarrhythmic drug therapy. In this longer-term analysis, the cryoablation group had significantly fewer events of first persistent atrial fibrillation episode at three years than the drug therapy group. They also had fewer recurrent atrial tachyarrhythmias overall. Secondary outcomes included atrial fibrillation burden, defined as the percentage of time in atrial fibrillation, as well as quality of life, healthcare utilization, and serious adverse events. All secondary outcomes favored cryoablation. Adverse events, including stroke and cardiac events, were less common in the ablation group than in the drug therapy group. The authors conclude that treatment of paroxysmal atrial fibrillation with cryoablation, as compared with antiarrhythmic drug therapy, was associated with a lower incidence of persistent atrial fibrillation or recurrent atrial tachyarrhythmia at three years. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.